Hello and welcome to the Vaults of Terror. My name is Ed and today we're going to be continuing with our overview videos with a quick look at the Ordo Tempestus and the Tempestus Scions, who belong to the Militarum Tempestus, the military arm of the Ordo Tempestus. Now the Ordo Tempestus is a military organisation that stands apart from the Departmento Munitorum, who control the Imperial Guard. They are in fact a sub-faction of the Administratum and who enjoy a great deal more autonomy than the Guard themselves. The Ordo Tempestus is primarily composed of the the Tempestus Scions, also known as Stormtroopers in Low Gothic, and Commissars, although other specialties may be members of the Ordo and help coordinate its training and bureaucratic arms. They are known for the quality of their soldiers being better trained and equipped, although far fewer in number, than the Imperial Guard. The Ordo usually liaises with the Munitorum and other Imperial Guard regiments in order to direct their forces into the appropriate war zones. Now, the Tempestus Scions are the most notable member of the Ordo Tempestus, and they are the elite shock assault troops for the Imperial military. They are highly trained and are usually tasked with carrying out special operations behind enemy lines or shock assaults on the front lines. Stormtroopers are some of the very best that the Imperium has to offer from its common soldiery, and are trained from a young age to reach the pinnacle of unaugmented human skill, being almost unmatched on the battlefield, with a few highly notable exceptions. Now, in overview, the Scions are trained to a level that puts them well beyond the capabilities of the regular Guardsmen, and so will usually form the elite core at the heart of an Imperial military force, carrying out the most important missions such as spearheading assaults or infiltration. They have undergone brutal training and use the best weapons available to them. Their training is so strict that a fully trained Scion can be counted on to have some of the highest levels of discipline available, and are perfectly happy to carry out orders that would seem impossible, inhuman or even immoral to even the most brutal of guardsmen, and are indoctrinated with a sense of obedience and duty that overrides any instinct of personal safety. They are often deployed into the heart of the fight in Valkyrie assault carriers, usually using hotshot lasguns and similarly modified weaponry. Now, the Scions form regiments that are constantly replenished by new recruits. Because the recruits are orphans, known as Progena from the scholar Progenium, they are from across the Imperium, forming into regiments of sometimes up to 10,000 soldiers strong, which answer only to the Militarum Tempestus. When operating together in large regiments like this, the task force is known as a Stormtrooper Strike Force. However, it is more common for squads and battalions to be sent to the front lines with the Imperial Guard regiments, fighting alongside those forces. It should be noted, however, that regular Guard view the high highly disciplined scions with distaste and animosity, referring to them as glory boys and big toy soldiers, although rarely to their faces. The recruitment of the scions is, as I've mentioned, through the scholar Progenium. They are Progenium graduates, which are taken by the Order Tempestus early into brutal and miserable training camps on some of the harshest worlds in the Imperium. Here the dedication and loyalty to the Emperor is created through a long process of homogenization and using brutal tactics to leave the young cadets mentally broken, then rebuilding them as perfect soldiers. This mental reconstruction is so thorough that for some their memories of their past will be erased, leaving only their training and loyalty to the Emperor intact. Once their training is completed, the cadets will undergo their trials and compliance. This tests how the cadets can obey and process commands under pressure, regardless of how dangerous, inhumane or complex they may be. Whoever pass become scions, whoever do not pass rarely get a chance to repeat the trial. Now, the scions training includes a primary education in many subjects at the Scholar Progenium, including general knowledge of the Imperium and its history. However, sometimes an adult soldier will be recommended to the scions from outside the Progenium by a senior official or even an inquisitor. It is very rare, and they will be treated no different than the children they will train alongside, but if they can endure it, then they too will become a scion. Now, scion standard equipment is superior to that of a regimental guardsman and generally includes carapace armour as well as the hotshot lasgun, which is sometimes referred to as a hellgun despite what some people say. They have also both frag and crack grenades and have access to destructive melter bombs. Scions can be issued with special weapons such as flamers, grenade launchers, melter guns, plasma guns and hotshot volley guns, while their commanders have access to weapons such as power weapons, bolt weapons and plasma pistols. Now, there are some variations of Scions and their equivalents throughout the Imperium which are similar but not actually trained as Scions. Now, the most notable of that is the Karsakin of the Cadian Shock Troops. Now, they are utterly dedicated to Cadia and fighting the enemies of mankind, and are taken whilst in the Cadian Youth Armies and sent to academies modified to look like the Scholar Progenium training camps, which take the Scions at an early age. 
Now, their training is almost identical to that of the Scion, although their loyalty is almost easily assured because they are of course already from a military background, being from the youth army, and are already loyal to Cadia, and thus will be more likely to accept the training without, without complete mental realignment. Whereas standard Scions generate animosity from the regular guard, the Karsakin are admired by the Cadians for their cool-headed composure during combat. Now, they are also inquisitorial stormtroopers, which are very, very similar to the Scions. In fact, it is rumoured that the Scion program was created to create inquisitorial stormtroopers in the first place. Now, the stormtroopers have ties to the inquisitorial fortresses across the Imperium, and it is their task to protect and keep secure these fortresses, and the inquisitorial black ships that harvest psychers from across the Imperium. They may also assist an inquisitor on assignment. Now, their training and equipment is equal to that of a regular scion found throughout the Imperial Guard. Furthermore, they undergo rigorous purity and incorruptibility tests prior to their indoctrination to be sure they will not fail under the immense pressures that the Inquisition will put them under. Finally, there are the Grenadiers, who are recruits from a Guard Regiment who are skilled enough to undergo the training that is comparable to that of a scion, although at a later stage in life. However, although they use similar equipment and armour, usually Grenadiers will stay on the front lines, using their superior training and firepower to assist their fellow Guardsmen in holding the line, rather than making shock assaults across the front lines and into enemy territory. So that's everything I wanted to say today about the Ordo Tempestus and the Tempestus Scions. Of course they do include the Commissars, but Commissars themselves are a slightly different, and of course we will talk about them separately. So thanks for watching, if you want to leave a comment, leave a comment in the comment section below. If you want to contact me directly, you can send a personal message, or you can go to the Vox Relay, the Vaults of Terror Forum, linked in the description below, where you can get more information from the knowledgeable community there. So that's everything I wanted to say today, see you next time on the Vaults of Terror. <laughs>